Hey those, welcome back to my channel. Today I got a special video for you guys. It's not a sponsored video. Y'all yeah, know I don't really be doing my unsponsored video because if y'all saw the time I take to film and edit these videos, you'll know why I don't do a sponsored video. But anyway, today's video is a wig from Kenny Esther Wigs. Okay, I actually reached out to the vendor and asked for them to send me this wig because I saw one of the YouTubers do a review for it and that wig was looking so cute, I had to have it. Okay, so if you already guessed from the thumbnail, it's a braided wig and this is what the wig looks like straight out the bag. Now I'm gonna tell you, I had this wig sitting on this mannequin head for about a week. So it did lay out when it first came, you know, from shipping or whatever. It was kind of, um, you know, not necessarily laying as in order, but I didn't do anything to it. I didn't put any product or anything on. I literally just put it on the mannequin head to keep it there. But let me show you how the back of the wig. I know that's one of the issues that some people usually have with the wigs is the back, but the back of this wig looks good to me. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay, so let me go ahead and try this unit on. I will say that this wig is heavy. Um, I've never worn braids, individuals in my life outside of a wig. So I don't know if this just is what it feels like to wear individual braids. I imagine so since it doesn't really seem to be anything added to this wig other than hair, which is what would be if you had individual braids. So straight up the box, it's giving. Yep. Show this. This is what the scalp area looks like, guys. This unit looks like it's an average wig size. It looks like it should fit my head. Now, this is heavy. Uh, is this what y'all go to when y'all wear braids? Cha, cha, cha. This is why I need a wig, okay? Because ain't no way I'm sleeping with all of this hair on my head. Like, I don't even understand how y'all do that. Plus, one of the main reasons why I requested for them to send me this wig is because I've been wanting to try these jumbo knotless braids for a while. But, you know, I do all these wig reviews, so I don't really have time to just not wear a wig. So the only real way I'm going to wear braids is if it's in a wig. And feeling how heavy these braids are... I can't imagine me just wearing braids <laughs> just regular because, yeah, I don't even like to sleep in a bob wig, much less this. I'm going to straighten these baby hairs really quickly because I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I did ask for them to send me um, sparse plucked baby hairs because I didn't want them too thick. So if you do prefer your baby hairs to be thicker, then don't ask for that. Okay. Now, one thing I will say is that I, this does come with an elastic band in the back, but it's not really tight on my head. I feel like I'm going to need to add my own elastic ba band just to make it fit a little bit more snug. Because right now it's loose and I'm really going to have to depend on the, the bowl hole liquid gold to hold this down. And that's a scary thought, especially with this being so heavy. Okay, so I went and I took... The elastic band, this is the elastic band it came with. I just moved it up. It was sewn here and I moved it up to sew here because it has this little clip here. And then you just clip it here. And now I'm gonna cut this excess elastic band off. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my Tintin Lace Spray in the scalp. Cause I'm not doing a ball cap. I'm done with the ball cap, so. We're gonna have to finesse the way we're gonna make it finesse. So I'm just gonna spray this on the scalp. Now that feels way better. Now the elastic band is holding. And I'm just gonna take that comb in the back and tuck that under the elastic band. Okay, now she's secure. And it don't feel as heavy on my head. These are the bowl hole liquid gold.
Okay, so I don't know what's going on by this ear tab. I might have to cut a braid or something. That's what it's looking like. Let me see if I can avoid that. Wait, no, a braid's gonna have to get cut. This one right here look like it's gonna be. I ain't gonna cut it all off yet. I wonder if I would have moved the wig over a little bit if it would have just laid better. So I'm gonna preserve this braid right now. Okay, some of my hair is left out and I didn't do it on purpose, but actually that's it's not a bad idea. All right, y'all, while we wait 10 minutes for this wig to lay down in the front, let me go ahead and show y'all something else that I got. This bag, this is a new bag I got from Teddy Blake. Now I have a couple of bags from Teddy Blake. They've sent me a couple of bags over the years. They got some new designs and new colors. And I think that this color is perfect for summer. This is the little dust bag. It, it comes in, it says Teddy Blake. So I wanted to get a small bag because I don't really use big bags anymore. Um, but y'all, look how cute. <laughs> this bag is so cute. Oh, and the first thing I smell is the leather. So Teddy Blake bags are made of Italian leather. They're like a more affordable designer bag. So think along the lines of like Kate Spade or something like that, right? Um, they brand themselves as a premium bag, but they have a lot of bags that looks like Birkins. But let's be honest, I don't care how much it looks like a Birkin. I'm pretty sure it's not the same quality as a Birkin. But if that's your thing, by all means, go at it. But I thought this bag is super cute. It has the gold hardware. I love gold hardware. And these are the little flaps. Now I have this same bag design in another color. I don't know, I guess it's just my favorite out of all of the bags they have. Let's see what the inside. Oh, the leather just smells so good. And look, it has that nice suede inside. There's a um, zipper inside. And it says Teddy Blake's. Oh, and it's like a little pouch here. It looks like you could hold your phone. So it's a perfect small size. And of course there's the, the zipper in the back. I don't really know what you will put here. It would have to be something flat or else it's gonna make your bag look bulky. And it also has Teddy Blake hair on the back. Oh, y'all, look, it matches my nails. <laughs> I like purple, pink. Those are my colors. Like, I don't know. I just like those pastel colors. Those will look so, so summery and spring. It just, I don't know, those colors just makes me happy. And they also have these little gold little things on top. And it says Teddy Blake is engraved in there as well. And it comes with these straps that you just simply hook onto the hardware on top and you can wear it across your body. And I forgot about this little lock and key. You could just wear it really classy as a cute design on the bag. Now I did want to show you guys the old bag that I had that was real similar to it. You guys can see I actually had it strapped up wrong. Those straps are supposed to go across the top. but. I ran this bag down. So I used to wear this bag literally every day to work before I stopped working in corporate America. And as you guys can see, it's still holding up. I really think I've worn this bag more than any bag that I even own. So it does hold up really well. So that's just to give you some insight from the quality standpoint. So as you guys can see, it's a really quality bag. Ooh, I can't wait to style it. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put on an outfit. I'm about to meet my homegirl when I finish. That's why I gotta hurry up. <laughs> I'm about to meet my homegirl for dinner, so I'm gonna put on an outfit. And let y'all see the whole ensemble together. Let's hope this here is is done, cause y'all already know I'm running late. 
Yes. Okay. Now I'm so nervous with this baby hair right now because you know, clearly baby hair is trendy and it changed. So whatever I cut, I'm going to be stuck with. I was trying to pull up a picture of Ari. I saw a picture with her baby hairs that I liked her baby hairs. I use that for inspiration because I'm not the baby hair queen, never professed to be. Um, but I like to use something to go off of to get an idea on how I want to do it. So let's see. First off, let's be real. I'm not wearing this in the middle part, but. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Guys, this looks so cute to me. I am so excited. I really hope I don't mess up the baby hairs. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing once I put these braids in. Okay, I'm feeling like my baby hair should go like this since I'm gonna be wearing it in a side part. What y'all think? Okay, guys, I cannot find the picture. The devil is busy. Okay, cause he know I'll be struggling to do this by my own, but I guess I'm gonna have to cause child, it's almost time for me to go. All right. All right, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm not even gonna worry about all of this baby hair though. Cause this ain't even about to show. So I will deal with that another time. Y'all, the worst thing for me to do in a rush is some baby hairs. So, so this is the best y'all gonna get. I didn't even try with these baby hairs underneath this hair. Don't even ask to see it. Cause I'm not showing it. The braids is going to cover it. Finesse, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what we do. So this is the part people usually put mousse on. I don't know why, but I'm going to put a little bit. Just for a little razzle-dazzle. Not sure what this is supposed to do. But I always see people do it. <laughs> so I got to go. These braids are very long. Here goes a view from the back again because I know that's important to y'all. And here is the length from the back. And as you guys can see, it comes way past my behind. So you guys could see why these braids are so heavy for me. All right, y'all, stay tuned for my outfit of the day. And be sure and follow my vlog channel where I have day in the life, DIYs, home decor, and travel. So if you're interested in seeing more of that follow my new channel be in faithfully asia and i have that linked in the description box down below okay doll so here's the final look with the baby hairs and i did go back another day and cut those baby hairs down because those baby hairs were way too long and i am pulling the hair up on the side just so you guys can see what it would look like if i didn't have baby hairs i'm not gonna cut it because i do prefer braids with baby hairs But here's the outfit of the day. Shop this look at more from my website, shopfabulous.com. Go ahead and get this dress. This dress is on sale. It's super cheap. It's only $14, girls. The whole website is half off. It's time to re-up on your closet. You guys know that's a steal. And every time I wear this dress, I always get compliments. Hurry up and go get yours before they sell out. You'll also find discounts on units reviewed on my channel as well. And if you're not part of the faithful fam, slam that subscribe button before you leave. Until next time, you guys stay blessed and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care now.